I felt like I had to do something important with my life and I had to be stable. I had to go to college, have a steady income. So I went into nursing, but I had a couple art classes that I just wanted to try out. Once I started taking those classes, I realized that I loved it. I was doing this one painting, six hours go by, and I'm still painting. It didn't drain me, I, I just kept wanting to do more, and I had more ideas and things I could do better and more of and stretch and change. So I decided that life is short and I should just go with what I want to do instead of what I kind of thought I should do. I feel like it's hard not to become an adult and responsible and do what everybody else does because that's what I feel like the culture and what the systems in our society are making us into, I guess. I don't know. Like in school, you just have to do something a certain way, and this is the formula to the solution, and that's the only way, but there's always another way. So art is definitely, definitely a risk. You know, you don't know what you're gonna do with it. You don't know what profession you're gonna create out of it. It's all up to you. But with nursing, it's like you know what's gonna happen and you know what your income is at this place. I just felt like the part of me would be missing if I didn't do art and I feel like I just have to do it. My sophomore year in high school, this is kind of like the year when in gymnastics you get recruited and so it was a bad time to get sick, <laughs> let's just say that. It started with me getting sick for three weeks with the stomach flu. I kept going to the doctor, oh yeah, it's just the stomach flu, don't even worry about it. So I would keep going to practice too during that time and I would just like, you know, be doing giants around the bar and I would be doing really bad because I was in a lot of pain, but I just like kept going. So then we went to the doctors again the nurses were like, here, just take this like stomach flu medicine and she's fine. And my mom's like, no, we're gonna get a blood test. My appendix had ruptured. So it hadn't, wasn't just like inflamed and I had appendicitis, it had actually ruptured. All these nurses kept coming in, just like one after the other saying, you're so lucky, you should have died. Every single one, you should have died five days ago. After I was in the hospital, I still couldn't stand up straight. I still couldn't like walk normally. I had to like hold my stomach as I walked around my house and everything. And in gymnastics, you kind of move your back a lot and stomach. So I just already made up my mind that I was coming back and I would be better than I was before. Now for Lindsay Hunter. So far, handstands have looked fantastic. Wow, another great set for the Cougars. Body position was great, the landing, that is a true stick. She has been out of this world good. <laughs> because I had a kind of near death experience as a teenager, it's definitely affected how I see my life now. I'm a gymnast at BYU and I love art and those are two very difficult things to do. And they take a lot of time and effort, but on my deathbed, what am I gonna regret in life? What am I gonna look back and think I wish I did that or I wish I didn't do that? And to me, I know I would regret not doing art. I like filling my life with things that challenge me because I want to look at myself at the end of my life and, and look at all the wonderful things I did and how I spent my life filling it with things I love and that excite me rather than things that I maybe thought I should do.
I wish people knew what they were capable of. Because I feel like people have very low expectations of themselves sometimes. And I think everyone has the potential to do something great.